Hi, this is Tyler from rent -to coop and here's a quick setup video on how to use your new voltmeter. So these instructions are very good. There's also some warnings on it, so we recommend reading over these before using your voltmeter. So you can pause the video right here if you'd like. You can see that your fence needs to be two to 3,000 volts to stop the smaller animals like fox and raccoon from getting in, and your fence needs to have more voltage to keep the larger animals out. The chart also shows the approximate voltage it takes to keep some of your farm animals inside the fence. So that's a very helpful chart to take a look at. So you can see I'm opening up a carrying case for the voltmeter and connecting a 9 volt battery to the unit. This is not included, but it is required for use. Now there are a couple things to note before you start testing your fence. One thing you want to do is get at least 10 feet away from your grounding rod that is connected to your energizer because that can interfere with the reading of the voltmeter. The second thing to note is you do not want to put the test probe on the fence while you are still touching the grounding probe. And this is true for any voltmeter that you choose to purchase. So now you are ready to test your fence. In my right hand, I have the ground probe. In my left hand, the test probe. The test probe is what you touch your fencing to, and the ground probe goes into the ground. So here you can see I'm testing one of rent coops goat and sheep fences that is being powered by one of our RAC38S solar energizers, and the output is 7,600 volts. This voltmeter can test anywhere from 0 volt output up to 13,000 volts. There are other ways to test your fencing setup as well. You can put the grounding probe on the negative and the test probe on the positive while your energizer is plugged in but not connected to your fence. This way, it would be easier for you to find where the issue is, whether it's in your energizer or whether the issue lies with your electric fence. The other feature of rent coops voltmeter is that it can test a battery. You can see here, this is a 12 volt battery. But when nothing is connected, it puts out 13 volts, so that is the reading. So if you have a solar energizer, this is a great way to see if your battery might be the cause of the issue. All right, that should be everything you need to know about your new voltmeter. Thank you so much.